Well, the two are making their closing arguments tonight. And remember, this was supposed to be an official town hall debate featuring both candidates. But President Trump backed out because the debate commission wanted to do it virtually after the president contracted the coronavirus. President Trump and Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden appearing on different networks on the same night after President Trump backed out of the official debate, which was supposed to be tonight. The host of President Trump's town hall in Miami grilled him on a number of issues, including when he had his last negative COVID test and whether he had it on the day of the first debate with Mr. Biden. Did you test the day afterwards. of the debate? Uh, I don't know. I don't even remember. I test all the time. On the COVID response, Mr. Trump defended the concept concept of herd immunity, which top medical experts say could put countless people in jeopardy. The cure cannot be worse than the problem itself. He also praised his administration's response to the pandemic. Our deaths per capita is among the highest excess among mortality, death really. Excess sorry. mortality, we're a winner. In Philadelphia on ABC, Mr. Biden slammed Mr. Trump's handling of the pandemic. Was, he missed enormous opportunities and kept saying things that weren't true. It's going to go away by Easter. Don't worry about it. It's going to all, when the, heat, when, the, when the summer comes, it's all going to go away like a miracle. Both candidates were pressed by voters on different issues. Mr. Biden on his 1994 crime bill. That crime bill went and voted. The Black Caucus voted for it. Every black mayor supported it across the board. On the issue of white supremacy, President Trump became combative. I denounce white supremacy, okay? You did I two days later. white supremacy for years. Questions about racial unrest and law and order drew out the candidates' clashing views. And there's a lot of things we can do. We shouldn't be defunding cops. We should be mandating the things that we should be doing within police departments. Why are you asking Joe Biden questions about why doesn't he condemn Antifa? Why does he say it doesn't exist? Because President Trump was asked about the various conspiracy theories he supports or will not denounce, including about the outlandish and completely debunked QAnon conspiracy theory, whose followers believe Democrats comprise a satanic ring of pedophiles. Why not right. just say it's crazy and not true? He may be right. I just don't know about QAnon. Or why he spread another false and bizarre conspiracy theory on Twitter this week about the Navy SEALs and Osama bin Laden. And that was a retweet. I'll put it out there. People can decide for themselves. I don't the take president. a position. You're not like someone's crazy uncle. Voters asked Mr. Trump why he has not put out a health care plan. Now, you've been no, in, in office no. almost four years. What we you, had, done. you had both houses of Congress, Senate and, and House, in Republican hands, That's and right. there is not a replacement yet. That's right. I'm sorry, but if you look, we had both houses, and what did we do? We got rid of the individual mandate. But Mr. Biden, for his part, once again refused to give a straight answer on whether he would try to add justices to the Supreme Supreme Court, a move known as court packing. I've not been a fan of pack co uh, court packing because I think it just generates what will happen. Every whoever wins, it just keeps moving in a way that is inconsistent with what is going to be manageable. So you're still not a fan? Well, I'm not a fan. I then say uh, it depends on how this turns out. The final debate is scheduled for next Thursday. As far as we know, both candidates are on track to attend. Live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite. Juan, back to you.